Okay. I want to say it one more time. Happy birthday, Mom. Hey, happy birthday. All right. Um, so you doing better? Yeah, I'm doing better. I'm in the hospital. Okay. Well, I wanted to sing happy birthday to you real quick, okay? Go ahead. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mama. Happy birthday to you. Oh, that sounds so good. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, I miss you. I was going to come and see you today. Yeah, I miss me too. I was at the house and I was, uh, well, I ate the sandwich and I drank some water, ate this little bit of round of donut, looked like wheels. And I don't know, it just, did you know, when you, you, you after I got through eating it, it just seemed like I just, I just had to lay down. You know how you get just like you just have to lay down, you know? Yeah. You was feeling weak. I, I, I've been through that, Mom. You have? Yeah, I'm I'm just glad that you okay. Yeah, I'm okay. I went to the call the emergency squad squad. They said to them they got it they had to check me out putting them little things on me. And he said they was all right. I was all right. But then Eric walked in. He said, I needed to go to the hospital. That's why I called them. And they should take me to the hospital and not talk like I shouldn't go. Yeah, if you wouldn't have went, oh. it might not have been so good. I know. So they took me and Bob and uh, they checked me and... Uh, my um my global my global king something they was low. Yeah, your hemoglobin. My hem hemoglobin was low. And he says a lot of things could happen to me if it stay low, so I needed to take my take my uh, blood treatment. Two two uh two two packages of, of blood. Well thank God for the people who donate blood. Yeah, thank God for the people who, who donate blood. I tried to donate some, but every time I tried, my blood was, my iron was just too low. She said, Mitzi, if your blood, if your blood go halfway, you can, you can give your, you can give your mom some blood. But if it don't, you, you won't be able to give her none because your iron will be too low. So they tried to get it up there. It got almost halfway, but not quite. And so she told me I couldn't give no blood. And that was for your mom? Yep. Yep, because Uncle, Uncle Adam Uncle Adam took Mama to the hospital. He was at the hospital. Him and his mom, him and his wife, they made. And uh, he said, why don't you go up there and see if you can't give your mom some blood, Everly? You know, they call me Everly at home. Yeah. And uh, I went up there to see, and that's what happened. I couldn't give no blood. My iron was too low. Yeah, shout out to all the moms that 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 love their mom. And shout out to grandma. I, I wish I would have got a chance to spend more time with her before she passed. Yeah. Well, you got a chance to spend some time with her when we were down in Sligo. You went out. You remember you went out there and jump up under the tree and that tick that you bit up, went up under your neighbor. Yeah. So I had to go to the store to get some pop because you had you had a fever. And Mama took the tree, peach tree limb and she pulled it, told me to pull it down, skin it all the way down, and then you take the skin and you wrap it, wrap it around it. You have to fold it back. Yeah. You wrap it back around the right the limb. You wrap, you wrap, you take the wrapping and you wrap it around the limb. So I did that, and Mama boiled the water, and she told me.
me to give it to you, put a little bit of sugar in it and give it to you. And I did, but it didn't make the fever go away. So I walked to, I had to walk about two miles down to that little tent place to the store. And they didn't have no 7-Up. They had no Sprite. They had all Coke. So I brought a Coke back. And we gave that to you, gave you a little bit of that, but that didn't make your fever go away. It just made your fever stay on. You just, you just kept the fever. And uh, and then Mr. Mr. Leroy came down. He came down and he talked to Mr. Mr. Willie. You know about about the trees in the in the backyard. Yeah. He wanted the trees to be cut down. And so Mr. Willie told him, said, yeah, you want some trees, you can go back there and cut as many as you want to. And so Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. What his name was, I just call it. Well, uh, well don't, don't do Franco, too much. Anyway, he came, he talked to Mr. Willie, and Mr. Willie tried, and Mr. Willie, when he went by the guy, he said, I want you out of my house. Mr. Willis said, this is my house. My mom had this house built, and it's, and it's mine. And everything here is mine. And he told me, oh, no. When you sign that paper today, you signed everything over to me. And he couldn't write his name, but he made an X. Mr. Willis made an X. So we had to leave. We had to move everything out on a truck. When Mr. When Mr. Leroy came down, and we went to brush, went to put the brushes on the bush, on the on the on the broom, and we moved back up in the Shreveport. And so, Mama took you. You still had a fever. Couldn't get rid of the fever yet. So, Mama went outside. She got some some uh, bit of weeds and got some. Uh, some uh, some mold, mold things that you boil. She boiled a bit of weeds. She gave you a bath in that. And the um the what I for, I forget the name of that other medicine. She boiled it and she put it in a little cup and she put a little sugar in it and let you drink that. And she said, Now you take him and put him up under the cover. And you let him stay up under there. Don't let him get out until he finished sweating. So you stayed up under there until you woke up. And we took you and put your clothes and stuff on you and took you over to Nellie's house. And that's when you reached up there on TC's table and got a swallow his beer. And he said, what, you let that boy drink part of my beer? He drank part of my beer. <laughs> but the beer cured you. <laughs> <laughs> the beer cured you. Drank the beer and it cleared you up. <laughs> you didn't have no more fever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I drank that beer. I'm glad you did 